What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we got ourselves our very first Pokemon, and that happens to be Grookey. Kind of screwed up a little bit, because we kind of wanted to nickname him Optimus Prime, or Optimal Optimus from Beast Wars. Kind of screwed up right there, but we will get to that eventually. But, in this episode right here, we're going to be going to the lab to get our Pokedex, and then uh, do quite a few other stuff right here, just, uh, you know, just to get this whole adventure started. Trust me, guys. Uh, the whole startup time, from what I from what I saw, was like at least an hour and a half. So it's going to be a while. And wow, that was a crash, a loud crash. Draven, did you hear that just now? I think. And look at that, we run. The gate's open, and the Wooloo it was that was there. Oh crud! So the Wooloo kind of actually broke through there. Wow. It was tackling the fans pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? Well, kind of. But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once, and she came back in real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful that she got from the professor afterward. Draven, what do you say? Well, you know me. I'm very cautious, but since, you know, for the game's sake and all that stuff, We've got to go save it. Right. Even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything, because we're going in, Draven. Oh, damn. Okay, so we're going into the forest right there. Alrighty, and wow, I do love, like, I, 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 I love the way how you can see the air, the mist and everything. It is, wow. They really did. They went above and beyond for this game right here. So let's let's go hop. Come on, let's get in this bitch and take care of business. And here we are in the slumbering wield. It is foggy AF right here, guys. Holy bejeebus! That Wooloo. Where do you think it took? Uh, it it got off to. I don't know. Probably down the middle or something. I don't know. The fog is really come on uh, coming in thick. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to try and find that Pokemon. And, well, we got grass right here. Now, as you can see, I'm crouching down. Now, this is similar to the Pokemon... Oh, wow. <laughs> like I said, this is similar to Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Zapphire to where you're trying to stay away from... Well, you're trying to sneak away. In this one, yeah, you're trying to sneak away. In the Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire games, you're trying to sneak behind them and all that stuff. So, what I'm going to try and do right here is I'm just going to be battling a bunch of, uh, whatchamacallit, what is this, what is this contraption called again? A Squovit. Yes, I'm going to battle as many Squovits as possible because, you know me, I like to overpower my opponents and all that stuff. And trust me, guys, a few days ago, I finished Pokemon Shield. I know it's coming, and... I, I gotta be better prepared. Very, very prepared. Alright, so now if you if you run, of course the Pokemon will follow you just like in Pokemon uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. And, well, as you can see, you got Hop waiting around right here like a, you know, you know, like a slapper. And, uh, well, the fog right here is pretty awesome, but, and look at that. The ravine right there, just, oh my god. I'm, I'm just taking in everything right here, guys. This is amazing how they just came out with like a better 3D game on Pokemon. Especially for the Switch, man. Should have done this earlier. Now, here we are back into the grass. You will be finding some different Pokemon. Now, if you see an exclamation point, yes, you will be finding some new or some interesting Pokemon right here that you don't usually see in person person, if you guys know what I'm talking about. As you can see, here we have a Rookie D. A Rookie D. And yes, yeah, so it is a flying type Pokemon. Eventually evolves into a, uh, what was it called, a, 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 Cor a Corviknight? Yes, a Corviknight. Now, this guy does have a type advantage of me, so I gotta beat him quickly. And here we go. Scratch attack. Eat it, Rookie D. Yes, you guys already know, I'm just battling just to get my levels up. Yes, I am battling. Alrighty, so we're gonna go right here, and we're gonna run around like, you know... And as soon as you make it a little further into this place, the fog starts thickening out. And... Wow. Do you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? 
Oh, wow. Okay, so now, like I said, once you make it in a little further, you're going to see that the fog's going to get a little thicker and thicker. And more Pokemon are going to be attacking you, so... You can do one of two things, guys. You can either run away or battle these guys. As you guys already know, I choose to kick ass. Let's go with the branch poke. Pokety poke. Let's go. That's right. That branch of his is going to be awesome. And look at that. Tail whip for the win. <laughs> Not really. Alrighty. So let's go again. Branch poke. Eat it. And uh, yes. Yes. Oh my god. So look at that. Our Pokemon are... Well, yeah, Pokemon's getting a little stronger than usual. So we're just going to keep on walking around now. This is where it gets interesting right here, guys. You go further and... Wow, you hear something. Come on, Draven! That Wooloo might be in real trouble! Yeah, well, okay. Let's, uh... Wow, he, he is further in. This is like a superhero movie where, like, the hero comes out of the mist and all that stuff. And whoa! Holy bejeebus. It is getting thick right here. It is getting thicker than my girlfriend right here. Holy crud. And... Oh, jeebus. We can't see anything, and... This is mad! I can't even see my own hand from my face! I think I get I get now why this place is off limits. Oh damn. Uh-oh. This is never good, guys. This is really never good. Holy crud. What is going on? Whoa. That's a wolf. That's a big ass wolf. What in the Whoa. That's a big ass wolf. And whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, we're gonna be battling this guy? Oh, jeez. Okay, so we're battling question mark, question mark, question mark. Don't even know its name. Don't even know its level. Holy crud. <laughs> okay, so what's going to happen here is we're going to try and attack it. And look what happens right here, guys. We use branch poke. And it's like a mirage. It just doesn't affect it. And the mysterious Pokemon gaze its fists on you. What? That move had no effect on it? Okay, so... <laughs> again, we're gonna have to try and attack it again. And... Again, nothing affects this guy. What the heck kind of Pokemon is this? And... Whoa! It just did fog. And... Draven, I can't see anything! You okay? Oh, damn. Okay, so now it's foggy. We don't have defog. We're not in Sinnoh. So let's go ahead and try a, a scratch attack right here. Come on, Grookey! Oh, crud. And just like that, it has no effect. And here comes more fog. Holy bejeebus. And I can't see anything! Oh, jeez. And... Wah! Oh, crud. We went into the light. We officially died, guys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Hmm. We're okay. Holy crud. Ha! Draven! Oh, look. It's, uh, Batman. <laughs> Lee? How'd you manage to find your way here? Your, pan or your pants with directions. You always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from my little brother, who had me a worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed! Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where... Where's the Wooloo? We were trying to rescue that Wooloo! You mean that Wooloo? Meh. The little chap's just fine. Though, all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds! But it took courage to come in here all the, all the same. And I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. And at least we'll lose all right. Yeah, Draven? I thought we had it when uh, that weird fox started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't for all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. And it just had this, this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even have to touch it. I mean, really, they seem to pass right through it. You moves pass right through it? So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the, the slumbering wield. 
Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could uh, be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Uh, why do you always do this pose, man? Like, seriously, are you like... I seriously feel like uh, Hop is on cocaine. I think he is. I don't know. That British cocaine is something. Even if we did get an earful from Lee. What an experience! This, uh, this, uh, this will make a pretty fine first page on my tale, the tale of my legend. What legend? What the? Okay, what legend are you talking about, man? Okay, so here we are. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Witchhurst now. She'll spare, uh, she'll go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to go to our mama. Our mama. By the way, hold on. Is my Pokemon okay? Okay, my Pokemon's okay. Alright. Okay, so let's go right ahead and see what our mom has to say because, uh, you know. Let's see. Where's mom? Mom, we're in the... Okay, so where, where are the... Okay, first of all, where's mom's room? Is it right here? I don't know. Okay. Oh, she's in there. Okay, so here's our mama and she's meeting our Pokemon for the first time. Tum Tum! Yes, food goes into Tum Tum, guys. Well, now, isn't Grookey just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Witchers, aren't you? Mm, yeah. Here we are. A bit of a pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember, that Grookey will battle to be uh, to the very end for you. So don't go pushing the poor deer too hard. Tum Tum! And you, Grookey. Look after my little Draven. Oh, wow. Sounds like my mom in real life. Come home and rest anytime you need. After all, east or west, home is the best. That is a good saying right there. Very, very good saying right there. Holy crud. Okay, so let's see. What's next? What is next? Okay, so we, we're, we're going to be moving on. We still got to get a Pokedex right here. And uh, Hop is not waiting for us for the first time in our entire lives right here. So... Wow, I'm bumping into everything right here. So, here we are going into the next town. Here's where Hop lives. And, uh, well, here we are off going into the next town. And look at that. Hop is waiting for us. Here we go. This is quite the big step, you know. My first step towards becoming the next champion. Wow, it's all about you, isn't it? <laughs> Guess I'll probably train up Sabo a bit by having a battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself uh, you should get yourself to the building with the purple roof on the great uh, red and white ball. Mark out to the front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Okay, well, yeah, we have to go right over there. But I kind of I don't want to like I can't resist battling all these Pokemon right here. Now, as you can see, the majority of the Pokemon within the route will show themselves, just like in Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu and Eevee. But the ones with the exclamation points, those are the Pokemon that you need to look after too because those, you know, those might be a rare Pokemon that you might not be able to see. Now, as you can see, these guys won't let you through, I guess because they're sleeping. So, yeah, we're going to have to go the long way and battle everybody. Now, how many Pokeballs do I have right here? Do I have any Pokeballs? Yes, I got five Pokeballs. So, we're going to be capturing some Pokemon right here, guys. Yes. And... To be quite honest right now, guys, I'm going to let you guys know on a little thing. There is something that this game taught me when I started playing it and went through it all and all that stuff. It's not all about one team. One single team, guys. It's not all about that. You have to have multiple teams, multiple Pokemon that will battle with you in different kinds of situations. Because this is exactly what this game does. It presents different scenarios and all that stuff. So, with that being said, I do have a team, I do have a team in mind for this, a main team, well, you know, a, a kind of like a, not, not so much of a main team, because in this game, we're not going to have a main team, it's just going to be different kinds of Pokemon, that's why the background right here, like the background that I have right here, doesn't have boxes for Pokemon team, nor gym, bo or, uh, gym badges, this is all just a decorative one for decoration and all that stuff, but in this game, as well as Pokemon Shield, the one that I'm playing right now off screen, I will be, I will be bringing in some Pokemon that I've used in different generations. Well, some Pokemon that are allowed in this game. Um, I, 
Actually, you know, I actually took a research. I did the research on, uh, I did the research and I saw that the majority of my Pokemon that I've used in the previous generations, such as, you know, Charizard, Quagsire, Lapras, and all that stuff, you can have right here. So, some of these Pokemon will be transferred in. I won't be using them, uh, I won't be using them during the main game right here. I will be using them in different situations. But other Pokemon, such as, you know, what, what, what kind of Pokemon do I have? Like, some of my other starter Pokemon, I don't think I can actually bring them in here. I, mean, I have to do more research, but there will be some kind of like a main team of native Pokemon to this region. I already have uh, two or three of them, uh, two, two or three Pokemon in mind for this particular reason. Plus, this game right here, including Shield, it actually brings, it actually gives you more of an opportunity to build up more teams with Pokemon jobs, which I will show you guys, uh, you know, eventually, uh, like if, once we get uh, through this, once we progress through this adventure right here. So let's go right ahead and just start battling Pokemon right here. First in mind, let's get this guy. Alrighty. We're winding up our arms. Here we have a Wulu. And Grookey needs a partner right here. So let's go right ahead and start trying to capture this Pokemon right here. Now, the cool thing about this game too is that you don't need to get an experience share because, well, it, you're basically on experience share all the time when capturing, when battling, and all that stuff. Not only that, but Pokemon battles around here, like actual wild Pokemon battles later on, it becomes more beneficial. You can actually get more experience points just by doing Pokemon battles, which I will be doing off screen. That way I can keep my team uh, maintained and all that stuff. And this guy right here is just like lowering my stats right here. Look at this Pokemon. Wooloo is uh, really messing with me right now. So let's go with another branch poke. Okay, so he's kind of doing me a favor because I kind of want to capture him. I want to uh, make sure that this guy is captured properly right here without making him faint. So here we go, another branch poke. And here comes a tackle attack. Not much of a tackler. So now, press the X button and there we go. We're going to start using our Pokeballs right here. Let's get this Pokemon. Two. Throwing out that peace sign right now. Three. That's right. We caught this guy. <laughs> so there it is, guys. Our first Pokemon that we ever captured. Not going to be on our team specifically. But Wooloo. And of course, we get experience points. We get another level. And... Well, Wooloo is going to be on our... on Well, on our Pokedex. I'm not going to nickname him. It has been added to the Pokeball. Or... Yeah, it's going to be added to the, to the team. Now, remember, guys, if you kind of mess up on naming your Pokemon, you can always go to the Pokemon Center to give them a nickname. Not only that, but a few other cool features, too, which I will cover later on. But let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here, Wooloo. Wooloo. Look at this Pokemon right here. So here's Wooloo, the normal type Pokemon. It is a male and, well, as you probably already noticed, it has balanced stats. Its ability is fluffy. Has the damage taken to, from moves that make direct contact, but doubles the doubles that of fire-type moves. So this is a very good Pokemon, very good normal-type Pokemon to actually have on your team. I'm assuming because, you know, fire, you know, <laughs> roasts this Pokemon. And would you look at that? I want to capture this guy. So, yeah, the second episode right here, guys, is going to be a lot of captures, a lot of, you know... This, this, and that, but eventually you guys are going to be seeing me just like straight up, just straight up train my Pokemon. And Rookity right here is a very, very good good addition. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and go again with... Oh, wow. Okay, so here comes a Leer attack. Doesn't necessarily help that, you know, it is a flying type Pokemon right here. But I do want to capture this Pokemon because eventually it evolves into a Steel and Flying type Pokemon. This is probably like what the second time, the second uh, one of its kind. Could be wrong. And yes, we captured it. Rookity, what's up? What's up, homie? Welcome to the home. And look at that. All our Pokemon are growing levels. This is good. This is great. We're off to a good start. And Rookity, not nicknaming him right now. I might have him on my team did use him on my team on shield for like a partial reason and all that stuff but here we have we found ourselves a potion and well let's see 
I think there's a third Pokemon here that you can actually find. And... Okay, so we're just going to try and locate it right here. And would you look at that. We counter Blip Bug. Blip Bug. Try saying that five times. Blip Bug, Blip Bug, Blip Bug. It's another Pokemon right here. This is pretty much the Caterpie of the whole Galar region. Or, I don't know, Caterpie... Uh, Weedle kind of thing. And this guy's using Struggle Bug. So that's not good for us. Since we are a grass type Pokemon, and look at that, we just lose a lot of special attack right there. So, yes, we are out to capture every single Pokemon out here, gain levels, and be better than Hop. Obviously, Hop is. Obviously, Hop thinks that he's going to be the next champion just because, you know, his brother is. And it's kind of rubbing me the wrong way. I don't know. Kind of want to show him, uh, show, show this kid off. Make him feel bad and all that stuff. You know how I am. Very spiteful. So there it is. Blipbug is on our team. And I think there's a third Pokemon in here, but do not want to mess with these Rookities right now. And yes, I was right. And this guy right here, wow. Defending that. Yeah, <laughs> that Rookitee was defending this uh, Paralyzed Heal very easily. And here's another Pokemon right here that we found in the, well, in the other place. And here we have Squovet. So let's go right ahead and try and capture this Squovet. Squovit, what's up? Let's go with a branch poke. Alright, branch poke poking this Pokemon. It's kind of like, hey, you want to see a dead body? And, well, there's a tail whip. Not, not the most effective, but let's go with the scratch attack. Try not to make this Pokemon faint. And it's fainted. Crap baskets on our crapsicle stick, so. Well, we got experience points. Look at that. Grookey, Wooloo, growing levels. That's good. Very, very good. So, well, we got plenty of more Squovits right here, so I'm going to go capture these guys. And that is not a Squovit. It is a Blip Bug. Eventually, I think this Blip Bug evolves into a Psychic and Bug type Pokemon. Another good typing I actually have, but I'm going to run away right here because I do not want to get hurt with, the, with this Blip Bug right here. And, well, let's go ahead and try and capture this guy. So here we have a Squovit. Look at those cheeks. Look at those cheeks. Kind of reminds me of my niece when she was a baby. Kind of miss my baby. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Another one. And as you can probably tell, this Pokemon does not have a lot of uh, defense. So we're just going to try and capture it right here. Hopefully we can go three for three. Or four for four. I don't know. No, three. Yeah, four for four. Here we go. Here we go. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. It's ours. Throwing out that peace sign. Yeah, throwing out that peace sign, guys. Alrighty. And look at that. Our Pokemon are growing levels like crazy. This is the reason why this game get, gets a little easier, guys, because eventually you're going to be going into a field right here where, you know, Pokemon battles... Well, what was it called? Uh, not, not not Pokemon battles. Wild Pokemon battles become a little bit, a little bit more easier to manage and, you know, tolerable, I should say. So here we are in Wedgehurst, finally, and here is the Charizard that Leon has. And this guy is like, wow, smelling me, looking at me, and all that stuff. Yeah, he's a pretty good Pokemon to actually have. So we're going to go into the station right here. And unfortunately, we can't go through this place right now because we don't have the Pokedex or anything. So we're going to be going straight to the po to the area where we can get the Pokedex. And he said right here, and here's Leon... Well done! You reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I for a, than I did my first time. I'm a hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown? All thanks to having a Pokemon with you. I know I'm sure I'm glad I've got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now, in we go. And Charizard's like, wah! Hmm. Alrighty. So, look at this. We're walking in, and he's like, I've got to give it to the Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. But work! Huh. Would you look at that? It's a poodle. Get over here, poodle. Or, not a poodle, it's a, it's, it's a Pomeranian? What is it today, Leon? Looking for info on another never-before-seen super-strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. Oh damn, who is this? Mm-mm-mm. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. 
Good to see you, uh, you too, Gamper. Gamper is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to rescue, uh, to my rescue uh, of t of time or plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his uh, trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. Well, I like the way she looks, homeboy. I just like the way she looks. She makes you food that you can gobble down in a flash. <laughs> what kind of an introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out. I did too! Oh, look at her. Mm, 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 mm. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name Sonia. I'm professor's, uh, I'm the professor's assistant. This is Draven. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path, would ya? Look at this poodle. Look at that poodle. Look at this guy. Look at that poodle. Just walk away. Okay, alrighty. <sighs> What does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom! Oh, damn. Bzzz. Rotom phones are really handy things, aren't they? They got a map and navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry. So tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? You bet. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so that you you, you can use the Pokédex on your uh, Rotom phone. And look at that, we got ourselves a Pokédex. The Rotom Pokédex right here. Just so you know, that Pokédex is a gift from my Gran. Could you let Gran know that you received the Pokédex? She lives in the house down, down along Route 2. Really? Okay, so... Look at that, guys. We got ourselves our Pokédex. We gotta check it out. Let's go ahead and see what this is all about. So, as you can see, we've seen six Pokemon right here. One of them being Sobble. Now, it could be counted as seven because we did see, uh, what was it? Cinderace? No, not Cinderace. That's his, uh, the, 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 the little rabbit stuff. But the majority of the Pokemon that we've seen, we've actually captured. And, uh, well, next see. We have to go to Route 2 in order to uh, say thank you and all that stuff. But in the meantime, let's just go right ahead and just continue on with our adventure right here. So, hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you've got a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. And uh, look at that. We get ourselves a potion. Okay, it's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP hits, uh, HP their, hit their points, gets low. HP is like Pokemon stamina. You can even use potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can uh, you can on your journey. That's some good advice because there are a lot of Pokemon trainers around here that can give you some special items and whatnot. And, well, what's going to happen right here, uh, yeah, Hop is waiting for us. We really can't do anything right now, like go to shops or anything. So, let's just go ahead and let Hop just do all the talking. He's going to annoy us and whatnot. Just remember, uh, the sign here used to say, To the right is the Pokemon la uh, Lab. On the opposite side is the Station. Wow. Very descriptive. Very, very, very descriptive right here. And no, we can't walk through that area. Alright, let's go. Come on, Hop. Teach us uh, your ever-knowing wisdom and all that stuff. Got a Pokedex from Sonya! That is... That it's the time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way, not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, you got the Pokemon Centers. Luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, Draven. Bet you've never uh, come in, been inside one. I've been to plenty of them. Lots and lots of, you know, Pokemon Centers and all that stuff. Okay, so here we are in the Pokemon Center. Level with me, Draven. Is this your first time in the Pokemon Center? No. Then I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers! I'm already good, though. I'm headed to Route 2, Draven. Come find me maybe... Yeah, maybe when you're done here. Okay. Now, the reason I said no is because, really, I... I've been to plenty of Pokemon Centers throughout the years. Don't need explanation. Now, here's a cool thing about this this Pokemon Center. You have the Pokemon, and you got this guy right here. Now, if you talk to this guy, you got some Pokemon questions, feel free to ask away. 
This guy right here will actually rate your nickname, which means that you know you can change your nickname, remember a move, and forget a move. So it's three, it's three, it's pretty much three businesses in one. Kind of like what we had in the original versions, like the name raider, the move remember, the deal leader, and all that stuff. This guy can do it all, and it's at no price whatsoever, guys. If you want to remember something that you've accidentally deleted, this guy will do it for free. Hell. He'll even, he'll even make you forget a move. So, what we're going to do right here is do the proper thing and name our Grookey right here. Because, yeah, we kind of screwed up right there. It is quite a fine nickname. I think we could give it an even better. Yes. Let's go ahead and give it its proper nickname right here. So, like I originally wanted to nickname him. I want to nickname this guy Optimus Primal or Optimal Optimus. Well, I wanted to nickname him Optimal Optimus. Uh, you know, dedicated to the Beast Wars series that, you know, that was uh, back in the 90s, but we couldn't fit that all in. So we're going to be naming him Optimus, since it will evolve into a big old silverback gorilla with leaves and all that stuff. So look at that, Optimus. What's up? Done. From now on, this Pokemon shall be known as Optimus. You're right. That does seem to fit it a little bit better. Okay, so that is pretty much it right there, guys. And, well, let's go ahead and take a look at our little Optimus right here. As you can see, finally a nickname. It is a female, though, but it's it's all right. She's like, we don't discriminate by name. So let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon right here. And, you know, make sure that we're well within our way to battle some more Pokemon trainers and all that stuff. Thanks for waiting, Grookey and all the rest of your team is better now. Hope we see you again. Okay, so... You know what? I'm going to pause it right here, guys. We got our Pokedex. We did everything we needed to do. In the next episode, we're going to be thanking the Professor. Hell, there might even be a capture here or there. There's going to be a lot uh, to cover, guys. Trust me, uh, the beginning is always a long one. So, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Another episode will be coming out. Happy 10-year anniversary right here onto my channel, guys. Thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for the uh, likes and all that stuff. Stay safe. Stay positive. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.